Endodontics just got a lot more exciting. In the advent of adhesion dentistry and the emphasis internationally on aesthetic dentistry, we're seeing a lot more bonded, non-metallic posts. Notice this maxillary right central incisor. The patient's been referred in because the patient sustained trauma and it's a restorative problem, but in carefully evaluating the preoperative film, you can see that the post has been exposed due to the traumatic episode, but also the tooth is endodontically failing. Notice the apical and lateral root lesion. In this show, I'm going to demonstrate how to remove non-metallic posts using the Unicore drill system. Evaluating the isolated tooth clinically reveals the ball-shaped head of that non-metallic post. This needs to be removed, so simply use a surgical length taper diamond or a comparable instrument and simply remove the ball and make a platform so the tooth is nice and flat. Now that you've exposed the post, recognize that some post materials have colors that are very close to surrounding dentin. So at times it's useful to use a dye like methylene blue or Chinese red to stain this and oftentimes this will better map the circumferential dimensions of that post. We can use ultrasonics or a little small round burr to make a small divot in the head of the post. This will create a pilot hole for our subsequent instruments to follow. The Unicore drill has an asymmetrical tip which means when you turn this at high RPMs in a slow speed handpiece, the tip tends to keep centered. There are four drills in the Unicore kit and we're starting with the small one. Always use the small one to reduce surface area. It will take some inward pressure to pile it down through that hard non-metallic material and we'll work our way down until we see pink gutta percha. Notice that we're using a small cannula to blow air deep in the prep so we're perfectly focused many, many millimeters away from the incisal edge that's been modified through tooth reduction. The red unicorn drill number two comes in. It can follow that pilot hole quite nicely. And what's really neat about this, your first drill or two might shift a little bit off center and it may in fact look like the prep is drifting a little bit more towards dentin. But what you'll notice with the subsequent larger instruments, they will recenter, and because the material you're removing is softer in its Brunel hardness number than the surrounding dentin, you'll center back up. After using the instrument with the red stripe on the handle, that gets us to the blue. And we can quite easily just remove some of the residual flashing of that non-metallic post. Again, keep your RPMs up at 15,000 RPMs, preferably using a high torque handpiece. If we rack focus down on the more apical work, you can see the little divot in the gutta percha from the tip of that unicorn drill. Well now, through a little bit of effort, we remove the gutta percha, reshape the canal with emphasis on disinfection, cleaning. Fit a cone. Using heat and pressure and vertical condensation, we can carry a wave of warm rubber through the master cone and cork the apical one-third. Notice the lateral canals have been filled on the way down. The canal has been backpacked, and you're looking at the provisionalization. And if you look out at about two years, you can see excellent apical and lateral healing and the results of the restorative effort. Let's review how to remove the new generation of non-metallic post. First, plan your removal method carefully by evaluating multiple different horizontally angled preoperative films. Establish the coronal platform. You can use various dyes to further map the post dentin interface. It is helpful to start a pilot hole with either an ultrasonic instrument or a very small round burr. Use the Unicore drills small to big at high RPMs in a high torque handpiece. Carefully and progressively remove all the non-metallic material until you see gutta percha, in this instance apical to the post. Well, I bring you good news. 
There are many ways to remove post historically, but the new challenge in recent years with the explosion and emphasis on aesthetic dentistry is the more translucent non-metallic post. We've looked at a method to remove these in a very predictable way.